Greetings, I'm Helena Pugh, a Marine Corps veteran and the host of your 5-Minute Salute. I have with me today Chris Howe from the Hoosier State of Indiana. Chris, welcome to our show. Hey Helena, how you doing today? I'm good. So Chris, tell me, how did you become a member of our nation's military? I was an Army brat, so I was kind of predestined for it. Uh, plus, I didn't want to take SAT, so I uh, went the ASFAB route. Uh, originally served from 96 to 2003, and then took a 18-year hiatus and, and joined back again right after COVID uh, in 2020. Um, so I'm still serving in the Indiana National Guard. Wow, so that's a huge jump. So I want to say it's great because I don't really get, you know, too many actively serving uh, people on the show. So it's great you have that veteran experience and still that active duty experience. Yeah, I was. I had to go back through basic and everything again at 43 years old. So that was uh, that was fun. I had drill sergeants that weren't even alive the first time that I went through basic. Um, but so it was quite the experience. Yeah. So now, Chris, what do you do today? So I run a uh, professional services and staffing company uh, that specifies on call center software. Um, it's kind of the the route I took after college and. Uh, Worked a corporate life, climbed the ladder, made VP and everything, and then uh, decided I thought I could uh, do it better myself and uh, jump ship and started Limitless Connect. It's been a cool story. We started up as five people uh, five years ago, and then about June of last year, uh, we started our growth. We're currently at 50 people. Wow. So I'm, I'm assuming that in your role, you get a lot of, uh, you've had contact with veterans. You have other veterans that work for you, or you're able to offer your services to veteran-based uh, businesses as well. Yeah, that's why I came on, just to uh, put our, our name out there to this community. Um, the way we structure our implementation teams, uh, we use uh, technical resources out of the Philippines, and then I like to um, partner that with a project manager for North America, and I found that the, the veterans have great skills that translate to uh, project management. So you don't need the college degree and um, you know the corporate experience. We can get you trained up to, to become a great project manager based on the skills that you learn in the military. Okay, so now doing your transitions, both, you know, the first one that you had and then, you know, currently this this kind of role that you've taken on after COVID, I'm sure you had some experiences that uh, you either wish you knew uh, as a person who was transitioning or that you learned that you'd like to share with other veterans. Yeah, I think the, the, the best insight I've had, and, and I've had a lot of conversations about this recently, is how similar the worlds are in corporate life and military life. You know, it's all teams and projects and preparedness. Um, so what I found when I went to college, uh, I felt I was kind of this uh, uh, person that was in the army and uh, these were all these smart college kids, which you know, in the military, those are our officers. Uh, but then I realized like all the lessons I learned in the military, uh, discipline, teamwork, political navigation, they were all great skills that the uh, younger folks in college didn't have uh, and, and I really thrived in that environment, and that showed me that when I went to the corporate world, um, you know, I already had a number of years experience, and that time in the military was a throwaway, you know, as it um, relates to taking a corporate job. Yeah, so that's what I'm hearing a lot of, you know, really the discipline, uh, being able to utilize your discipline as you are going through a transitional experience to focus on the things that you need to get done, and then making sure you, st you stay committed to those things. So, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. So is there anything else you'd like to share with us before we go? Uh, no. Hey, if you're out there and uh, certainly use that GI Bill, get that college education, even if you're just taking one uh, one course a semester, you know, build that up, build that, build a network and, and resources. And, uh, you know, and if you don't have a college degree, don't don't let that hesitate you from applying for roles that you're interested in. Uh, great paying roles because your military experience really sells well and you have the stories that you can talk to when an interview asks you about how you perform in certain situations, how you work in team dynamics, how you deal with conflict. Uh, right. So I really uh, want to emphasize that message that the corporate life and military life aren't that different and those skills translate nicely. You're absolutely right. The only thing is today's, today's military you know, they're with that post 9-11. So we had the GI Bill. You guys are going to get on top of that post 9-11 benefits. <laughs> well, Chris, I'd like to thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to let me interview you. I really appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. 
Awesome. So now, America, do us a favor and go ahead and visit our website at ZaharaVets.org so you can see Chris's full interview. You also have the link to his information in the, in the notes. And I invite you to join me in rendering a salute by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Until next time, and to all Marines, Semper Fi. My name is Helena Pugh. I am the founder of Zahara Veterans Network. So I started Zahara Veterans Network because as I transitioned out of the military in 2012, I was encountering so many challenges with my transition and I realized that there really wasn't an organization that spoke uh, definitively to the issues that impacted women veterans, but also I encountered other male veterans who were having very similar issues to which there really wasn't an answer. So I started the organization so that I can provide information for other veterans, but also put us, put us on the path to start providing those services that weren't being offered. Thank you.